Hello, how's it going? So in this short tutorial, I'm going to try to explain to you how I create songs using LMMS. Uh, so the first thing you're going to do, you're going to close these windows here because we won't be using them right now, okay? And then we're going to have these four tracks here. We're not going to be using them right now and for our own purposes, we're not going to be using them here. So we just click in this icon here, in this gear icon, and then remove this track, remove this track, remove this track. So I like using this plugin, which is the SF2 player. So as you can see here in the description, it's a player for sound phone files. Sound phone files basically have uh, sound samples. So basically, it's like a MIDI composer, right? First of all, we have to select our sound, right? So as you can see here, we have a piano, but first you got to download an SF2 file, right? So because this is the file that's going to have the samples of the sounds that you want. Uh, I usually use this one, the SGM uh, V2.01.SF2. So we're going to open it. And I will provide a link uh, in the description so you can download this as well. And then on patch, we're going to click the small range icon and then we're going to have here the banks, right? So we have the zero bank and we have the 128 bank. This is uh, most sound phone files are going to have only the zero bank and the 128 bank, right? But this one has... Uh, other ones, but let's only focus on these two by now, okay? So, as you can see here, we have the most basic instruments, so the pianos, pipe, organ, etc. For the percussion, which is what we want right now, we're going to click the 128, and then we're going to select standard one. We have many different types of drums here, but for our own uses right now, let's just click standard one. And close this. So I want a very basic uh, beat here. So let's say, right. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna use our right mouse button, or we can just double click here. But if you're if you're gonna use the right mouse button, you're going to click and click open in piano roll. So now we have the piano roll, which is where you actually compose your songs. Since these are the drums, the different notes are going to be are going to actually be these different sounds of the, the drum kit, right? Such as the snare, the bass drum, etc. So we're gonna we're gonna find the bass drum. So we found it. So let's put another one here, and then we have this. So now we have to put this snare. Yeah, we have this snare here. So we need it. We need the ride, right? And I think it should be here. Okay, so now, so uh, we need to, to fill these, these four spaces here, this one, this one, and this one. Um, so what you're going to do is, you're going to hold control, and then this square is going to show up on the screen, and then you're going to put the square over the notes that you want to select, and then to make a copy of these, you're going to hold shift and then you're going to drag this across the piano roll. So you see now we have four copies of it. Right? So let's add a crash symbol here. Crash symbol. Uh, here and here. So as you can notice, the crash symbol sound is a little bit too loud. So we're gonna select these two, and then we're gonna go here on note velocity, and then here, basically, you're going to define the volume of these two particular uh, notes. So let's set it at 70. Maybe it's a little too, too low, too quiet. 
74. Okay, that's good. See, now we have our basic drums. So, we can drag another one here. And then, oh, let's name this as drums, right? And let's name this as bass. We're gonna be using the bass here. We're gonna click here, open in piano roll again. And then, let's say we want uh, this melody. Dun, 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 dun. Right, so let's try to find it. Okay, I found it. So let's change this because I, for, I, for, I have forgotten about that. So we're gonna click here and then we're gonna try to find the bass. So let's use the picked bass. So as you can see, as you can see these notes are too short. So how can we make them longer? So when you hover your mouse, over the edge of the note, this line with two arrows is gonna show up, right? So you just drag it, and then the note is going to be longer, right? Sorry. If you want to do them all at the same time, you can just select them all and then just drag one of them. Of course, here we can't do it because then it's going to it's going to mess mess up the sound. So now we have this. So let's make a copy. Let's make three copies. But there's a problem. I think this is too high pitched for a bass, right? It sounds like it doesn't really sound like a bass. So you're going to select uh, select all these notes, and then you're going to hold Control, and then you're going to use the down arrow key to make this an octave lower. It's, it's still not good. So one octave lower again. Another one. Ah, see now it sounds now it sounds good. So let's check it out. So uh, if you want to to listen to the song itself, because if you click play here, it's only gonna play the current instrument. So you just close this, and then when you are in the song editor, you just click play here. Then you can use you can hear the drums with the bass. Here you can adjust the volume and the panning. So the panning refers to if it's left or right, right? Uh, okay, so we need a, a guitar now, but we're not going to use this here because the guitars in this don't sound really good. So we're going to go... So this is what I use, okay? So I go to my presets and then to Zened Sub Effects. And then I go to Guitar and then I go to Trash Guitar 1. So when you click it, you can, you can listen to a preview, right? So we have Trash Guitar 1. So if you want, let's say you want the guitar to have the same note as the bass. So you can click, you can press Control and then click this track here. So this is the bass, right? And then you can drag it here. See? Now the guitar is going to have the same notes as the bass. Also, you can always uh, drag this track, uh, this portion to the same track, right? So, for example, if you want to repeat a part, it's really useful. So, now we have the guitar. But we have a problem. The guitar is too low-pitched now, because we wanted the bass to have a low pitch. So, one of, one of the things that we can do is to use the same method as, as we used before, right? So, you're just going to select all these notes, and then you're going to hold Control, and then you're going to press the up arrow key, and then... Let's go two octaves higher. I think that's good. See? Sounds better, right? So, okay, basically that's it. Uh, there's something else that we can do. So let's say you want your song to be a semitone higher, the, your entire song. So we can click this button here, the master pitch button, and then you can go one notch up. So one semitone. But now we have a problem because the drums are totally messed up. Because remember, uh, the notes, quote unquote, of the drums are actually the different sounds of the drums. So to avoid that, let's go back to the zero semitones. You can open the drums, open the drums, 
and then you can click these three dots here and then you're gonna have the master page enabled so just uncheck this because then uh, the master page will be disabled only for the drums so now we can go one semitone higher So as you can see, the bass and the guitar are one semitone higher, but not the drums, of course, because we don't want the drums to change, right? So that's basically it, right? Of course, this is a very simple song and a very simple tutorial. There are many, many, many other things that you can do here, but I think that for an introduction, that's enough, all right? So I hope you learned something and thank you for watching and bye!